Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and back to another Lessons with Lydia. We haven't actually done one of these for a while so I'm really excited if you are new here. My name is Lydia and my channel, my YouTube channel, Instagram is all about timeless style tips, how you can make the most out of your wardrobe um, and just maximising what you already have um, with a few trend things injected here and there. So that is the aim of my entire platform, you can follow me on Instagram as well, at Lydia Jane Tomlinson, but I just thought I'd give you a brief intro in case you are new here. I've also been doing YouTube Shorts, which is essentially like a reel. I've been uploading some content that I've used on Instagram because I know a lot of you perhaps don't use Instagram as much or you've not seen me on Instagram, so it's quite a good way to find people and just see some short styling tips. So let me know if you've been liking those. And just well to have you, if you are a new follower, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So today we are talking all about trousers, pants, bottoms, skirts, whatever you want to call them, um, and how to pair them with different shoes. This is something that I feel I get asked so many times, and it is quite a tricky one. So I've broken down some of the styles that came up the most. I did a Q&A on Instagram, not a q and a, I just asked you on Instagram which style of trousers or skirts, etc. you struggle with the most. So I tried to do the most variety and also the most requested. So let's get straight into the video. So first up, we have the beautiful balloon jeans. I'm a really big fan of balloon jeans and I do believe they can be very flattering depending on what you wear them with, of course. So in this video, I'm definitely going to be talking a lot about proportions, colour matching, um, balancing out and sizes, because I think those are the crucial things when looking for shoes. So for the first outfit, um, I've got these balloon jeans on with a black top, black belt, and I'm wearing some chunky trainers. Now to me, the chunky trainers don't particularly go with this look. Now let me just say here, before anybody says anything, I don't necessarily mean you can't wear the don'ts um, with things. I do think a lot of the time you can make them work. I think a lot of the time they do work. But what I wanted from this video is to show you the most flattering ways to wear these shoes. So I'm not saying the don'ts don't work entirely and that's it and you can never wear them. That's not true and I do believe you can make them work in certain scenarios with certain items. But this to me is just the most flattering ways to wear these style of trousers. So I thought I'd just get that out of the way before anyone mentions it. So um, balloon jeans and the chunky trainers, the reasons why they don't work. Balloon jeans are very, very oversized as it is. They need something delicate to balance them out at either end. So you've got the slimmer ankle and then all of a sudden with the chunky trainer, you just get cut off there. There's nothing dragging that ankle down. You just have a straight cut off and it's so chunky that it overwhelms the trousers. And what you can see is just a big chunkiness at the bottom. And then that is so disproportionate with how you are balancing it out at the top with the slimmer top if you're wearing a t-shirt or at any top is slimmer than the bottom. So the key thing to do with balloon jeans, I believe, is show off the ankle. Now I don't believe you can't wear chunky sandals or trainers. I'm wearing them here um, with some chunkier black sandals. You could wear them with the cross strap chunky sandals, but I think the key is exposing the ankle. With those chunky trainers, your ankle is so cut off that you can't even see it at all. So with the ankle being on show, you just bring the eye down and the ankle is often the slimmest part of the leg. So that juxtaposes that balloon style jeans and then you can balance it out. So you've got the slimmer ankle at the bottom, balloon jeans and then balance it out with the tighter waist and you can belt it for even more of an effect. So you've got the proportions balance with slim, balloon, slim, if that makes sense. Now in my next clip, I'm showing you some loafers. Now don't think you can't wear loafers, but these loafers actually, one, do expose the ankle, but for me, they don't work. They feel very, very heavy in this darker shade at the bottom of the ankle. I feel like it's much too heavy for the delicate ankle against the balloon jeans. I just don't feel like it works. However, then I swapped to my Gucci backless loafers. 
So these, I've actually got them on right now. So I can show you as the example, they take you, again, it's all about the eye line. It takes you right down to the back of the ankle. So while the front of the foot is covered up, as the trainers are, because you've got that exposed ankle at the top, which the other loafers didn't do, then it brings the eye again to the furthest possible point um, of your heel. So that instantly makes it much more flattering and attractive. And again, just brings that eye line right down, whereas the black ones don't. And let's talk about heels with balloon jeans. I did want to focus on these balloon style jeans because I think this also fits for the very slouchy jeans that are in at the moment. Um, and you can kind of make these work for a lot of different baggy styles of jeans that I know a lot of you want to know what shoes to wear with because I find these the hardest. So I thought I'd keep going on the balloon jeans and show you them with heels. So I don't think a closed toe, clunkier um, block heel like the ones I'm showing work with this. And another reason they don't work is because of the ankle strap. It completely, again, just cuts you off too short at the ankle. And with this style of jean, you need something to pull the ankle down to drag it and elongate it. And things like ballet flats would work with this, pointed toe mules would work with this. But um, in this case, I've gone for the two strap black sandals to show you how it would work. And although they do have the strap on these sandals, the strap falls at a much lower place on the foot as you'll be able to see. So it doesn't cut you off straight at the ankle, but actually drags it down a little bit further. Um, and again, that just pulls the eye line right down, making these balloon jeans a lot more flattering. So I wanted to move on to skirts. This one is the pencil skirt. It's a leather pencil skirt, but it would work for any kind of pencil skirt from a knitted pencil skirt to a denim pencil skirt to a normal fabric pencil skirt um, to a leather one. So here I'm styling them with the converse. Now to me, things like anything high topped, anything too chunky, um, like the white trainers I had at the beginning, Anything that's so chunky like that, again, I just don't think it works because you've got that point of the, it's very similar to the balloon jeans and I think you'll find a lot of these points overlap each other. But you go right down to the calf and then you need something that brings the foot right down because otherwise you've been cut off at quite an awkward place on the leg. You want something to bring you as far down as possible to really create that elongated shape. Now, these Converse, I don't think they don't work, but really, if you want the most flattering look, that high top just cuts you right off at the ankle. Then you've got that chunk of skin on show, and then you've got the skirt, and those three sections just completely break you up, make you look shorter, it's just not as flattering. What you need is something to bring you down. So with this, I'm not saying you can't wear trainers, but what you need is a lower cut trainer like the one I'm showing you in the next picture. And just to note that all these things where possible will be linked in the description box below. You just need to click the drop down arrow and everything, all the details, um, and all of my other details if you want to find anything are linked there, including my height by the way. So you'll see here this lower ankle trainer brings the eye right down and I think the balance works well here again because you've got the lighter coloured white t-shirt balanced out with the dark skirt in the middle and then the um, white trainers on the bottom and it's all about I think that balance of you've got your top and then the bottom and it's, it's like a sandwich. You've got your white on the top, the black in the middle, and then the white again at the bottom, and you sandwich those colors together to just bring the eye um, into balance, if that makes sense. So I definitely think trainers are doable um, with the pencil skirt, just make sure they are low cut at the ankle. And I do believe there are quite a few shoes that you can wear with um, the pencil skirt, including loafers. I think some chunky loafers work really well. Again, they bring the eye right down and don't cut you off. Um, sandals, chunky sandals will work well with these. Um, ballet flats will work well with these. Dainty sandals will work with these. So I do think there are many ways to wear the pencil skirt. Just make sure you are not getting cut off anywhere um, on that stretch of the leg that is bare. So let's talk about wide leg jeans and boots. I didn't really want this to just be a spring summer video. It's kind of lends itself a bit more to spring because that's the season we're in, but I did want to show a few boots as well. So I believe wide leg pa 
Did I say wide leg jeans just then? I believe wide leg trousers of any description go well with most shoes. One thing I think isn't as flattering is something like a square toed boot, especially if it's black and you're wearing something lighter. I don't think the square toe works because again, it cuts you off um, at a shorter point and you really want to continue that line nice and flowingly and I feel like the square toe um, of a boot just cuts you off you've got the really nice long wide leg and then all of a sudden you've got abrupt cut where the uh, boot finishes so instead what I would opt for is a pointy toe boot like these naked fashion ones I've got on here so I swapped the I'd say the uh, the square toe ones look a bit stubby um, and then these are more elongating and they just continue that flow of the wide leg going right down and it just gives that more elegant finish with a pointy toe with these kind of trousers. And you could also um, put that with flat shoes as well if you wore like a pointy toe flat or a mule or say like a pointy toe mule as opposed to a square toe um, heel. Um, so that rule I think applies to all shoes. Now I do think with the wide leg trousers, in this case the chunky sandals do work, I think it's all about the outfit. And then again, if they are wide leg jeans, I think the chunky sandals would work because they fit in with the same genre of being quite casual. But in general, I think a more delicate sandal looks better with the wide leg trouser. Um, I just think it's, um, again, it's a more elegant finish to the long um, wide leg, just something a little bit daintier at the bottom. But I do think in this case, the chunky sandals can work, um, but I think, better to have the daintier ones for a more flattering look. Okay, so skinny jeans. This is a difficult one for most people. We were very faithful to the skinny jeans for many years until the mom jeans came along. Um, and now I feel like we've got such a variety of jeans out there um, that the skinny jeans are a bit neglected. However, I know a lot of you love your skinny jeans and actually they are much more flattering on your body type. So I say, don't go for the trends. If slouchy doesn't suit you, or balloon style doesn't suit you, don't go for that. Stick to your skinny and make them modern. Now, here I'm showing you a way to do that. So actually, I started off with this outfit with chunky trainers and a white t-shirt. Now, I don't think this works. It's too slim on the top. We've got too many fitted things going on. The skinny jeans, very fitted. The white t-shirt, very fitted. The tucked in very fitted. I think it's too fitted and then the chunky trainers just completely off balance them and throw them into a different zone. However, to make this modern, you can wear your chunky trainers and this is where these come into their own and really upgrade your skinny jeans. So all you need to do with this is put on something oversized. Now in this case I've gone for an oversized blazer with the whole look but you could do an oversized trench coat anything oversized again to offset the chunkiness of the trainers and like I said before we're going to talk about the sandwich so you've got the oversized at the top then you've got the skinny in the middle and you've got the oversized at the bottom and that just balances out the eye completely so make sure if you are wearing skinny jeans with your chunky trainers go for something oversized on top to balance that all out rather than something really fitted. So I'm going to show you two different types of heels to wear with the skinny jeans. Now the first pair I've paired it with, they're both kind of the same. First pair is dark. Now this is where colour proportions and colour balancing comes into its own because I think the dark just makes the whole bottom half look too cohesive. And again, you've just not got that sandwich balance. However, I swapped these to the lighter coloured shoes, the exact same style, and instantly it works better. Now this is because, again, colour balance, colour sandwich, you've got the lighter on the bottom, then you've got the dark, and then you've got the lighter on the top. And that is why that works better, because with all that dark at the bottom, it kind of makes your bottom half look very tiny in comparison to the top half and it just doesn't work you've got complete imbalance and although they are the same shoes it's amazing the difference that colors can make um, with your shoes and your outfits and with different trousers so a really difficult one that people struggle to style with are bermuda shorts 
um, those kind of clot style shorts, the long bikery type shorts that are in at the moment and I think these shorts I'm going to show you actually would cover everything from collots to slightly more bikery style shorts. I've got some denim ones for the summer when it gets warmer um, and so it's good to know how to style them and they're a big trend for this year as well. So I've got these Bermuda style shorts on with the chunky trainers and it just does not go. Even though you've got that colour sandwich with the light top on the top and then the light shoes on the bottom, it just doesn't work. They are far too overwhelming. And these shorts, let's face it, can be quite unflattering worn in the wrong way because they fall at the knee, there's lots of fabric on the bottom, they do fall at an awkward place, it doesn't completely elongate you and it doesn't show all of your leg, so naturally it falls at a slightly unflattering place on the leg. So the chunky trainers, again, just make you look shorter and then you've got those three sections that I was talking about before, where you've got the shorts and then you've got a, an awkward length of leg on show and then you've got the chunky trainers that cut off the ankle. So how I've transformed this and how I would wear this with, is with a much more daintier slide. I've got these ones on that I've had for years from Zara. And again, these just take your um, eye right down to as far as you could possibly go. The slides with just the simple um, crossover at the front allows the eye to go right, 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 right down past your ankle over your foot and that is where the finish line is rather than completely at your ankle where the where the chunky trainers were and again it is all about how you wear it and how you style it so i wanted to bring some of the brown shade up to the top up to the waistband again just to balance that out um, and balance out the eye because i think without that belt we'd be missing something at the top and it needs that brown um, in the belt just to make the outfit more cohesive. And again, in terms of shoes, as I've mentioned, I've got these chunky block heels. Again, I feel like the, the style of them is too formal. Um, it's too officey with the block heel. And then you've got the ankle strap, <sighs> completely cuts you off. So what you want to do is swap that for a slightly daintier, more modern heel. I think what you need to think about with shoes is the style of them. Is the outfit a modern outfit um, or is it more traditional? If it's something like the Bermuda shorts, which is very modern on trend, you want to go with a shoe which is quite modern and on trend as well. So this two strap um, square uh, heel sandal really lends itself well to these shorts. And again, brings the eye right down to a really far point. And with them being quite light, they don't imbalance the shorts. I wouldn't wear black shoes with these. And again, you've got that colour sandwich with the light on top, dark in the middle and the light in the bottom. And I think, now I've said it so many times, you'll know that these rules are definitely applying to all shoes. Let's talk about utility trousers. Again, a really big trend for this year, but also a classic that we can wear year after year. So I've got these ones on, I think these... These ones are from me and Anne, um, and I wanted to go with a chunky um, sandal with this. Now, I really like the way this works. The chunky sandal and the quite slim utility trousers, I do think a baggy utility trousers would work well with these sandals, but because the sandals do draw the eye down, they've not got a cutoff point or an ankle strap, I don't think an ankle strap would work that well with um, these trousers again because it just breaks it off but because the strap falls quite far down on the foot then it works and I also think that the chunky um, works quite well with the utility style trousers. It's the same genre, it's relaxed and I just feel like those two styles of things work well together and I've got it here with a slightly looser top. Again, to offset the chunkiness of the trainers, I wanted something a little bit more billowy on top. I contrasted that then with these loafers because I don't think the loafers work. Again, just mentioning about styles of shoes, I think the loafers are far too formal for the utility style. So you want to, again, go for something that is matching, something a bit slouchy, something a bit off duty, casual, some chunky sandals, not the formal loafers. So that is definitely something to consider, those two styles. And finally, I wanted to bring in a skirt. Now, I actually don't own that many midi dresses. A few people requested midi dresses, but I didn't really have any. 
um, that I think would work well for this. However, I do think this midi skirt um, and the ways that I'm styling it would lend itself to midi dresses, um, just plain set skirts, satin skirts, um, as well as the uh, pleated skirt that I'm going to show you. Now, I definitely think a chunkier sandal or any kind of sandal works really well with a skirt or a dress. Again, it's those styles, it's slightly more feminine, sandals really lend themselves towards that. Whereas I do not think a chunky trainer goes with this. Even I think if I was wearing a white colour t-shirt and did that colour sandwich, I don't think it would work as well um, as the sandal. Again, it's like the one in the first video, it just breaks you off completely and you've got those three awkward sections. We've got the skirt, an awkward length of leg, and then the chunky trainer. Um, and I don't think that works as well. I do think sometimes trainers work well um, with midi dresses or skirts. Um, and again, I think it's a case of having that lower cut ankle of the trainer. Um, that I showed you in the beginning. Now in terms of boots and dresses, I'm showing you two different styles here. And the first one is the chunky ankle boot, again, square toe. And this to me just doesn't work. It feels very awkward. Again, it's that thing where you've got that very strange amount of leg on show, like you've just got that amount of leg. It, it should either be the full skirt all the way, um, Actually, I don't think a short skirt would work with this. But I think if you're going to wear these boots, I think your skirt would have to fall below the boot where the boot cuts off, if that makes sense. Um, so instead, what I would do is go for an over the knee boot. And so you've got the skirt going right down and there's no awkward gaps. And again, you create that, that elongated shape. So if you want me to touch on this more um, and go into more depth, then I'd be happy to um, and I can try and get back to any comments below. However, I feel like I've covered quite a good base and there are some fundamental rules that have come out of this. So just to recap, some fundamental rules that I think apply to whenever you are dressing and pairing shoes with different kind of trousers and skirts. So one is colour balancing. So you want your colour sandwich of your lighter or darker on top, whichever. So lighter on top, darker in the middle, and then lighter at the bottom, and you want that color balance. Another you need to think about is styles. What kind of style is this outfit? Is it relaxed? Is it casual? Because you don't want contrasting pairs of shoes. They're jarring and they just don't work together. Another is that awkward leg length and the awkward amount of bare leg you may have on show, or even in tights, I think the same rule applies. If you've got some leg on show and then a cut off point, and then you've got your skirt higher up or trousers higher up, it just creates that awkward shape. And then the same goes for anything like ankle straps. What you want to do to create the most flattering look is completely elongate your leg and draw the eye right down to the lowest point, which usually means avoiding ankle straps. I don't think you have to always avoid ankle straps, I think just with certain types of uh, trousers and skirts and draw that eye right down. So I hope you found this useful. If you did, please let me know um, and let me know any other things that you'd like to see, tips, videos like this, any more lessons with Lydia ideas. I'd love to know in the comments. It would really mean so, so much to me. And yeah, I'm really enjoying reading all of your comments at the moment. And I feel like everybody brings something really valuable to the YouTube channel. Um, Instagram's a bit more instant, whereas YouTube, I feel like we actually get to have a bit more of a conversation and I get an insight into what you think too. So don't forget to subscribe, hit the thumbs up, and I'll see you in my next one.